speak to Samsonite. Hello to you too, Harry. Sorry, hello, but you need to speak to Samsonite. About anything in particular? They're talking about pulling their ad buys from the Star Trek slots. Why? Ratings are low. They want to move their ads to Gunsmoke or Bonanza. They're the client. What they want is what we'll do. They aren't seeing the big picture. Which is? Star Trek is brilliant. And? And if they lose all their advertisers, they'll be pulled off the air. It happens all the time. If no one watches a show, then they don't sell the ad time. And said show gets taken off the air. It's the American way. But Star Trek is more than just a television show. It's the future. Okay. I think you're taking a television program a little too seriously. It's science fiction, Harry. It's not real. But it could be. Just think about it, Pete. We'll be going to the moon in a year or two. Maybe Mars a few years after that. Men will be living in space before the end of the 70s. Why would they want to? Give me good old terra firma. At least I know what to expect down here. You know, sometimes your lack of vision astounds me. Peggy, can we talk to you for a moment? What do you think of Star Trek? It's an interesting show, but I can see why it hasn't found a larger audience. What does that mean? It's not very accessible. People flying around on a spaceship? No romances, no families, and danger on every planet. If they want romance, they can watch Peyton Place. Clearly a lot of them do. Their numbers are huge. And I think once man makes it to the moon, it will become a lot more accessible. Maybe, but I think people still watch TV because of nostalgia for better days gone by. Or to live vicariously through people. And with all of the monsters and fighting, I don't want to live vicariously through the spaceship crew. Starship. It's the Starship Enterprise. You know what I mean. The whole world is unfamiliar. But isn't that what Samsonite should stand for? It stands for adventure, for the voyage. But that doesn't mean it stands for journeys into the unknown. What's the difference? The difference is that even though someone may never have visited Paris or Rome, they know what to expect. I think even people who are restless and like to seek out new and different people and places still want pieces of home. An American in Spain will drink Coca-Cola because it's what they're used to. People cling to what's familiar. I miss this. Me too. Do you really mean that? Of course. Well, do you... Bets. Let's not do this now. Let's just enjoy the evening and see where it takes us. Okay. Okay.